four of us are doing our banking on our mobile phones. According to the British Bankers Association, the number of transactions carried out on mobile devices more than doubled last year to 18.6 million per week. And the pace is still accelerating. We're on target for 2 billion transactions in 2014. What compares starkly with the use of high street branches, transactions in RBS physical uh, branches, for example, have fallen by 30% over the past five years. Well, I'm joined now by Anthony Brown. He's the chief executive of the British Bankers Association. And uh, I understand, Anthony, you actually commissioned this particular report and set of statistics. Well, that's right. That's, so we're aware there's this revolution going on in the way that people do their banking and the way that customers interact with their banks. And uh, so we decided to collect some statistics on it and just see the scale of it. And but are you not just softening us up? I mean, you say that the branch is at the heart of banking. But with these reports and this data. Are you not softening us up for the fact that we're just going to see high street branches closing left, right and centre as we already have been? Well, all, this, all this is driven by the consumers. I mean, the, the banks obviously launched mobile phone apps, but then 12 million people decided to uh, load them. And then, as you see, the usage of them has doubled in the last year. We've had uh, 20 million uh, uses per, per week the, over the last year, and it's still going up at record rate. And that's customers deciding to do that, probably, we think, because of the convenience that actually you can decide to take out out alone while you're washing your car or you can uh, pay a bill while while in the pub. So are you saying then that branches will disappear? You haven't really no, answered no, no, the question. No, no. So, well, come to, to come to that point. No, I mean, clearly the number of branches has been going down. As you said, the uh, the transactions in RBS, for example, down 30%. Uh, you're seeing uh, likewise in other banks. Some other banks are actually opening branches. So Metro and Virgin Money, for example, are opening branches. But the role of branches is likely to change. They remain an integral part of banking throughout the 21st century, but it'll be less for the day-to-day transactions. Just to sell paying the well, no, if you, want to go a, if you want to get a mortgage, the big decisions where well, you need to talk to somebody. You want to get a mortgage, you need a business loan, whatever. You actually need to go somewhere where you can talk to someone. Okay. But the day to day things which you can do on the internet or yeah. your mobile phone, probably less of that. Now, last year we've seen some big problems with IT infrastructure, haven't we, with banks? Lots of glitches, people not able to access their money, people not being able to make payments. Um, with this trend going towards more uh, sort of digital uses of banking, are you confident that banks have made enough investment in those systems? We're not going to see those problems popping up. Well, the banks are investing a huge amount in uh, information technology, and some of that money, uh, the, the huge amount they're spending, is on these new services, these, this new digital banking services, mobile phone services. And they are very, very keen to make sure the sort of glitches we had in the past uh, don't, don't happen again. And I have to say, I use it, and I've, mobile phone banking, I've never had a problem at all. OK, and just very briefly, um, we've had the FCA putting out the business plan today, saying that they're going to be taking a closer look at banks to make sure they've learnt the lessons from LIBOR. Just very briefly, are you confident that, they, that they'll find that they have? Well, I think it's, it's, it's very important that we do learn the lessons from LIBOR and that uh, whatever lessons there are, that uh, we restore credibility to all the different men benchmarks that there are and we make sure that similar things don't happen again. So I think it's good that the regulator is looking at this.